Okay, everybody, let's get this show on the road. Let's go. Elvis loved movies. He was a big movie fan. He used to study movies. I'd ask him about it. He said, well, he said, George, he said, see how Tony Curtis looks? He doesn't smile. He's got dark hair. He said, I noticed that the guys with the dark hair are lasting longer in Hollywood than the, the Tab Hunter look, the blonde Hollywood beach boy look. And he said, see how Clark Gable leaves his shirt open? And I'm going to start doing that. And he started leaving his shirt. I wouldn't wear a T-shirt under his shirt. What do you think? And he picked up a lot from, uh, from those actors. He, even though he never had an acting lesson, he studied in his own way. Next, rehearse it. On the set, everybody. The situation is a simple one. Vince, you've just come home. You've got this great news about your promotion. But your wife is lying on the couch with a bad headache. You're bursting with happiness as you come in. But when you see she isn't feeling well, you're concerned for her. You kiss her tenderly and then tell her. Got it? Got it. Let's run through it. Elvis took filming serious early on. He was always on time, always knew his lines. I think that came from having learned so many songs. But he did have a great recall on his script and uh, always knew his lines. The directors loved him for that. Good. Now kiss her. Well, as we were going to Hollywood, we went on train. Back then, Elvis wouldn't fly. So we were on a train, and as we were on the train, he had, he had two scripts. And he said, GK, I want you to rehearse my lines with me. I said, OK. And I would do everybody else's lines, and he would do his lines. Then for a while, he started doing everybody else's lines. And by the time we got to Hollywood, he knew the whole script. Upside down, backwards and forwards. How's your headache? I'm getting all unglued. Vince! 